great project for you today. This one is called Fish Eat Fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our full screen here. I'm going to let you see how it works. So we press the green flag and we see that we have a fish. And what we see is that the fish, they grow bigger when they eat each other. And the ones that spawn are also growing bigger. So what we have to do is we have to try to become the biggest fish. Um, so this project has a lot of cool things. I'm going to start it over one more time so we can see the way the fishes spawn in sort of like a, a circle. Uh, this brush starts off as small. Uh, and then it allows us to eat the different fish. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and we're going to go ahead and build this. So uh, essentially we've got two sprites for this project. We've got a hero sprite and we've got an enemy sprite. So I'm going to clear this existing code out of the hero sprite and we're going to go ahead and, and get started. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into events. We're going to get ourselves a one green flag clicked. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our size to 20 percent um, after we set our size to 20 percent so we want to start this off at small uh, then we're going to show this the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into a motion and we're going to get ourselves a go to xy so we're going to we want to start this thing in the upper left hand corner so we're going to change this to negative 200 and y to be 180. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into control we're going to get ourselves a forever loop and we're going to get a motion block and we're going to say point towards mouse pointer inside that motion block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a move block. And we're going to change this move from 10 to two steps. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a couple broadcast blocks. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, this and we're going to get a when I receive. And we're going to change this to a new message. We're going to call this eat in all uppercase. And when we when we say eat, what we want to do is we want to change our size by and that's going to give us that really cool visual effect that we saw in the lead in. The next thing that we want to do is we want to sort of broadcast what happens when we lose. So we're going to go back to events. We're going to get ourselves a when receive. We're going to click on create a new message and we're going to say lose all in uppercase. And then when we lose, what we want to do is we want to be able to hide that hero. And then what we want to do is we're going to play a little sound. So we're going to play the sound of bubbles um, or ocean wave or, you know, it can really be whatever you want. So we're going to play bubbles until done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, stop the whole game. So we're going to look in control for that stop all block. And that's really all the code that we need for the hero. So now let's pop over to the enemy and let's get started. Uh, so let's clear all this existing code out of here. Um, and so what we're going to do first is we're going to say when the green flag is clicked. So we're going to go into events. We're going to get ourselves a when green flag clicked. Um, initially what we want to do is we want to hide the, the enemy. So we're going to grab ourselves a hide block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into control. And we're going to get ourselves a repeat loop. We're going to change this to 20. And then we wanted to create a clone of ourselves. So we're going to have it create a clone. And we're going to drop that right inside of there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell it what to do when it starts as this clone. So we're going to say when I start as clone, we're going to have it show. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to have this start as a go to xy and we're going to put this in as zero zero this is going to create that spawning effect that we saw on the lead in so they're all going to sort of like spawn in a uh, in a half circle so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get a looks block and we're going to say set size to but instead of it being all the same size what we want to do is we want to have this be a little more random so it looks really cool so we're going to get ourselves a pick random block and we're going to have this vary from one to twenty percent so that's how those fish sort of start off, off small then we're going to go back into looks and we're going to set our color effect and that color effect once again we uh we want it to be variable so we're going to do pick random and we're going to change this from one to let's make sure we can see this here we're going to do this from one to 255. then we're going to get ourselves a forever loop and inside this forever loop what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a turn block and we're going to have this turn clockwise and we're going to get a pick random so this is going to create that really cool effect where the fish sort of look like they're spawning in a in a semicircle. so we're going to do negative 90 to 90 degrees and that's going to create that spawn and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into control we're going to get ourselves a repeat block we're going to change this to 40 
And we're going to say that in motion, if this is on edge, we want this to bounce. And we're going to have the fish sort of move by one step when they're not doing that. So we're going to have very sort of small movement to create that generation of the fish. And then we want them basically moving around this underwater environment. And so now that we've got that, what we're going to do is now we want to start to program the logic. We want to say what's going to happen with those broadcast messages. Um, so we're going to get ourselves another when I start as clone block from events. No, sorry, from control, we're going to get ourselves a when I start as clone. We're going to get ourselves a forever loop. We're going to get ourselves an if then conditional statement. And then what we're going to do is we want to basically sense for when are we touching uh, the good guy or the hero. So we're going to change that not to mouse pointer, but to good guy. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to put another conditional statement inside of this. So we're going to get ourselves an if then. We're going to put this inside of here. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to create a greater than logic. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this greater than. And the logic that we want to understand is we're going to basically be able to sense um, what is the size of that good guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for that size of the good guy. Um, and so what we're going to test for is we're looking for the size, size of the good guy. Um, We're going to grab this block here. We're going to change that to good guy. And then instead of it being X position, what we want to check for is the size of. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to basically broadcast an event. So what we're going to do is we're going to say broadcast. And the thing that we want to say is we're going to broadcast that eat that we created earlier. And once we broadcast that eat, what we're going to say is we want to delete that clone. So we're going to push that logic in there. Um, actually, we're going to take this. This is not what we want in here. We want actually an if then else to be inside of here. And so we're going to transfer this code over. We're going to do broadcast eat. And we're going to do delete this clone. And then if it's not broadcasting that, what we're going to do is we're going to basically say that we want to broadcast lose. So we're going to grab this in here. And we're going to broadcast lose. And if we remember from before, so um, the good guy is looking for us to broadcast eat. And if it broadcasts eat, it's going to change that size by three. And if it broadcasts lose, it's going to hide, play the sound bubbles, and then it's going to stop. And so that's essentially all the code that we have here. So let's make this bigger. Um, so once again, we're going to see these fish sort of spawn here. Uh, we're going to try to eat a couple of them. Um, and so what happens is that uh, we died on the first one, so let's try to get these fish before they get too big to eat. Uh, it looks like we got a little error in our code. So uh, let's go back in here and try to figure out what's going on. So we go into our enemy, and what we're looking for, if it's touching the good guy, um, oh, I see what we missed. We forgot to change our 50 to a size. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, size in the looks block. And so once we find that size, um, we're going to be able to go so we're going to grab size and now it's checking for the condition to say if the size of the good guy is greater than the size of the thing that they're eating so now let's pop this back over let's click on the green flag and then let's go over here and try to eat some fish so we see that we get bigger now that we've corrected that error in the code and we see that our fish gets bigger and bigger so this is an example of how we can broadcast events and have it take action so we can communicate during the between the different sprites and when it receives certain messages, it takes certain action. So hope you all enjoyed this. We're going to go ahead and stop. If you uh, want to leave us a like or a comment, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day.
Thank you.